What's up guys, so we just finished uh, our second training session. I'm getting ready to head back to Louisville, but before I left, I wanted to show you guys uh, Kyle's gym. So this is in St. Louis, so if any of you guys are watching this, you ever come through St. Louis, this is the place to train. So I wanted to show the gym because when I first walked in, I was like, dude, this is this is such a nice place. Like for you guys that are coming into this stuff now, you don't even realize, like when we first started training, like what did you first start training in? Uh, 99, I started with Jiu Jitsu and Jeet Kune Do. And where, like what was it in? Like what was the facility? I was in like a rec center, R uh, like a racquetball court. A racquetball court, right? So they, like, lay, did you have to lay down the mats every yes. time? Yes. And I, I started training in like a, a gym that was like a weightlifting gym. And we'd have to lay down puzzle mats that were missing pieces. Everybody had broken toes and all the, <laughs> the bros were like lifting. You're like, what the hell are you doing? Um, but he's got a really nice gym. So I wanted him to take you guys through it in case you ever find yourself in here. Um, great place. So awesome. thanks for doing it. Awesome. Place. Thanks. I appreciate the time. But I'll show you. We just moved about uh, like five or six months ago. And uh, I bought a bought a building. It's about ten thousand square feet, a little bit more than that, and it has great parking. It's a, a safe spot, and uh, um, I rehabbed a bunch of it, demoed a bunch of walls, laid down some mats, but it's going pretty well. But this is the lobby, as you can see. My assistant sits over here. Um, this is my little office with tons of pictures and things that I haven't hung up yet. <laughs> and uh, here I got a little pro shop for the gear. Um, when we pass through here, we've got our main training area. We just finished making some sweat puddles. But, um, Got some booty sweat on there. Yeah, for sure. How many? Uh, how, how much max space do you have? This is just a hair under three thousand square feet right here. It's a lot of space. There's a lot of space. We have a little annex back there through that that doorway. We don't use it for anything right now. It's storage. Um, in through this way, we got shelves for people. Um, on the other side, through this uh, this door here, I'll show you. We got a little great weight room where we do some uh, personal training. So I got a trainer who does like a lot of like little group fitness and a little bit of personal training and kettlebells and what have you. And then through here we've got a couple of restrooms and a small laundry room. How long did it take to put this place together? Like like, you know, how, like like from like thought to actually like. So I looked at the place a little bit and then once I decided to pull the trigger, we bought the gym. I think around the end of September, early October last year. Mm. We started the construction. So almost a year. Well, we moved in the very end of February. So oh, wow. in October to February, got everything pretty much done. And the craziest thing is I had a crew of a small crew of guys that were very much more capable than I. Yeah. I couldn't do too much. They were very handy. And I said, hey, these guys are paying me. I can't close down the gym for a long time. So we literally picked four days. And we shut down for four days and moved everything. And who were these you know, guys? Math. Just some of my students. Students. Yeah, okay. and yeah. they helped me like build the border, hang up trim, painting, yeah. like put down the mats, doing all the tape. So it was pretty crazy. But uh, let, me, uh, let me take you guys upstairs. I was a little more impressed with like, you know, this was warehouse to begin with, so this wasn't too much. You put down the mats. Right. But upstairs was all offices that we demoed, and uh, we turned into, you know, some nice space. So we have, uh, this is the women's changing room stalls. And then over here we have a pretty nice shower for the girls over here. And, you know, have plenty of privacy. I'll get out of the way. You have some of the nicest uh, gym bags. <laughs> Thank you, That's awesome. Appreciate that. And then through here, as you can see by the odd-shaped uh, ceiling, like this used to be offices all the way down. And so we demoed it. Had to leave this little closet with the uh, HVAC, but we matted it all the way down. And this honestly was the size of my first gym, just okay. this spot. Right here, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. We, we upgraded a couple of times. We got storage back here. Out there, we call that the uh, margarita patio. Yeah, one, one day when I put a some mar margarita bar out there, but that looks over the arch and the train tracks. You guys, you guys had a margarita bar? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. just, hey, wishful thinking. I'm hoping one day. I was like, man, you have to tell me when that is. I'll come back. <laughs> and then this way, we have because we have two entries each. Yeah, Nick. I asked you, buddy. We have two entries to each locker room. I'm gonna let me check real quick, make sure everybody's plugged. Do we have the clothes on? Yeah. So through here, we got um restroom and. Over here, we got a couple of showers. One's being occupied. We've got a black belt just walking all over the place. And then a uh, big roomy changing room. And this is cool because it kind of looks down onto the mats. And, uh, and then the second door here just comes right back out in and meets in the middle of the hallway. And uh, Couple we've got some laundry and another entry to the second training area and that's pretty much an official tour.
Yeah, so out there here, we don't do anything with it. It's We just have like a little patio and see the train tracks. And then if you go a little farther out here, the arch is right here in the downtown skyline. That was the official tour and it was awesome you guys could come by and visit. I'm really glad you know Chewie was able to make it in train with us. If you're ever in the St. Louis area, I'm right here in the midtown, downtown area. And anybody's welcome to stop by and visit. We love having visitors and we'll take good care of you. And he's a really nice guy. <laughs> Something like that.